Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Diana Pusitasari NPM 1A2122020 from class A In this moment, I will explain about teachings, listening, and speaking Alright, let's get started Teaching, listening, and speaking skills has become vital to learning a second language Listening was talked of as a mastery of skills such as identifying keywords and recognizing redux words Speaking was memorizing, repeating, and real best. Communicative language change grammar best syllabi to communication syllabi. Fluency become popular. According to Richard, 1996 said that listening requires the fundamental skills of focusing attention on the speaker to be able to hear and understand what the speaker is say saying. According to last 2002, speaking skills require students to take turns, speak competently, stay on topic, and speak with clarity. Students are more likely to master speaking and listening skills when they can actively engage in learning them. Interactive modeling gives students a clear picture of these skills and an immediate opportunity to both practice them and receive feedback. Strategy for listening First, cognitive comprehension, story or memory process retrieval. And the second is metacognitive assessing, monitoring, self evaluating, and self testing. Challenges for speaking help develop fluency, accuracy, and appropriateness of language use. Move from linguistic competence mastery of linguistic system to communicative competence. Now, how to use English appropriately for a range of different purposes. Teaching, listening, and speaking can be done by the teacher playing an audio containing a conversation between two people for students to listen. After students listen to the audio, the teacher asks students to explain the essence of the conversation. So what do you do for fun? I really like to play soccer. Oh, nice. How often do you play? I play twice a week. My team is really good. I score a lot of goals. Oh, cool. How long have you been playing for? I've been playing for about 10 years. Wow, that's a long time. Do you ever play any other sports? Well, I often go to the gym. I really like to exercise. How about you? I really enjoy playing the piano. Oh, wow, that's great. How long have you been playing? I've been playing since I was five years old. Oh, that's a long time. Are you into anything else? I really love doing yoga. I do yoga about three times per week. I want to try yoga, but it looks difficult. I'm not flexible. You can do it. It's really fun. This conversation is about a hobby. Three hours to people who ask each other what activities they do for fun. The first person really likes football. He used to play football twice a week. He has a very good team. He also likes to score scores. He's been playing football goes to the game because he loves sports so much. The second person really likes playing the piano. She has been playing the piano since 
she was five years old. Apart from playing the piano, also really likes doing yoga. So does yoga in the week three times. Alright, I think it's enough from me. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.